everyone. Or should I say, good afternoon. All right, let's have a little chit chat while I uh, do my skincare. I don't know if you could tell, my voice is gross right now because I was sick and still am a little sick. Ready, watch. <coughs> So yeah, still, still not feeling too hot, too cute, too crazy, too fun. Also, it's my birthday on Friday. Cause we take care. Paula's Choice Pore Normalizing Cleanser. I might have forgotten to wash my face last night, so I'm trying to do this thing where you don't cleanse your face in the morning because you have like a bunch of natural oils on your skin that technically you're not supposed to wash off. But like I said, I didn't wash my face last night. I also didn't wear makeup and I took a shower, but I just didn't put cleanser on my face. And I have this hyaluronic acid that has vitamin C serum in it as well. I just bought this product, but I've been using it for like not that long. And it also makes my skin look fucking nice during the day, so. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Every time I brush my teeth, I already ate breakfast, so I just have like the most insane, nauseous feeling come over me, and I almost throw up like every day. Okay, that was a little bit of CeraVe. <sighs> I feel better already. Skincare, check. All right, so today I clearly woke up really, really late. I have this happen to me pretty often, I'm not gonna lie. Right now, my excuse is that I have been sick for the past like five days, so I haven't been too worried about my sleep schedule. When I'm sick, I let myself sleep in because that's what's gonna like help in the healing process is having good night's rest. So right now my sleep schedule is so janky. This week it's taken me forever to kind of like I get back to like waking up at a normal time to have somewhat productive days. Today, it really feels like I'm just kind of like being hard on myself. It's mid fucking day and I have yet to do anything. So I want to try and like turn this day around, not waste it. I just got some Gisu hair products. I just washed my hair last night. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my hair. Also, I got the hair perfume that matches it. <laughs> boy, oh boy, have I been using this every day. Okay, so I have somewhat of a dilemma to share with you guys not terrible but it is definitely a dilemma we're pulling up on 1 p.m. which is a really good time to hit the gym and if I want to feel productive in any way shape or form going to the gym is going to do that for me but I'm waiting on a package from UPS and it says it's gonna be delivered today and it won't let me accept the delivery without a signature nobody is in my home until I don't know when Maria it comes back maybe like 3 p.m. That means I either have to A, risk it and leave, go to the gym and potentially miss my package, which mind you is dresses from House of CB. You know what? I feel like if the delivery says end of day delivery, then it should mean that maybe like 4 or 5 p.m., which I'll definitely be home by then. I think my next move is going to be throwing some stuff in the laundry. I also realized, yeah, I don't don't have any gym clothes right now. So that's another thing holding me back. I'm kind of in shambles. Now, nobody tell my mom because doing your laundry at this time of day is more expensive, but I don't have a choice necessarily. I also don't know if any of this laundry is gonna be ready by the time I need to go to the gym. So I might have to steal some of Mariela's gym clothes. <sighs> this is what happens when you're just unorganized in life. And being sick for five days can really do it to ya. Life is hard when you're just a little girl turning 24 in three days. <sighs> I'm getting old. When do you think you're too old? Like you have to be considered a woman. Like, am I still a girl? I feel like one. The only thing that makes me feel old is that sometimes I'm like not in touch with the ways of the teenagers, which like I'm not mad about because I'm literally not a teenager anymore, but I have a teenage sister and she makes me feel freaking old sometimes. Anyways, as we wait for the laundry or whatever I plan on doing, check out my phone case. Ignore my nails because they have been in bad shape. Look how precious, how cute. See how pootsy this phone case is from Casetify. Casetify is the world's most popular tech accessory brand and they're known for their protective phone cases and global collaborations. So as you can see, these are a little bit funky, cool, fresh, different because these are the push-in cases. 
is. They have a bunch of different push-in sets. I have the Cottage Core set, but I decided to use the Retro West set, which is this one. The case itself has 13 to 14 holes in them each. They also come in a variety of different colors. I chose this nice cream color because I feel like it just matches me. This embodies me because it is literally a form of self-expression in your phone case. The push-in cases aren't just cases. They are an extension of you. It's a canvas for self-expression, like I said, and a place to celebrate you. On top of the creative aspect of this case, the cases itself are made from soft, flexible material, which makes it really easy to install, obviously, to get these pins in, and has comfortable grips, which doesn't sacrifice the protection of these cases as well. As usual, Casetify is very protective cases. This case protects up to four feet, exceeding military standards, with raised bezels to protect the screen against bumps, scratches, and cracks. I love this case. I love this set. I love that I can change it, customize it, and do whatever I want to match my aesthetic. So if you guys want to check out the Casetify cases, you can go down below. I have a discount link. It's casetify.com slash alexadams, and you can shop the push-in cases. Okay, I'm feeling a little irritable. It's a gorgeous day. I don't know if you could tell. Like, the sun is shining like no other. So I'm going to go to the gym. All right, so I found some leggings. Thank you, God. Okay, Nike sports bra. I'm gonna wear a sweater. Okay, I think my boyfriend is at the gym already. I might ask him to like film a little bit. I am doing push, which is chest, tries, and shoulders. I just know that going to the gym is gonna make me feel a lot better. My only issue right now is my freaking hair. Ooh, is someone home? <gasps> Yahoo! Guys, we're in that baby. I literally just saw Mariella pull up. If my freaking package comes, I'm fine. She can literally grab it for me. My problems are solved. Good thing I started getting ready for the gym. I'm a little bit embarrassed to be over there and make it a little less obvious. These are called the... I honestly forgot. Honestly forgot. It's popping my shoulder blade a little, but... Don't I stop moving around? Why? Shoulder press. Big guy. Big strong guy. I've been doing 12.5 for a while. Really? Maybe I can do 15. Sorry, right now. Not right now, not right now, not right now. You look pretty sick. Thanks. This might not be very impressive for most, but it's first time off shoulder pressing 15 pounds. It doesn't even feel that much different. Jeez. <laughs> We're getting PR'd. Hey, body 17. Face, come on now. You got it. Oh. Little foot tap. How'd that feel? It was heavy. That's good. That's good. He made me do this. First time I've ever used that machine, I think I tore a ligament. I'm not even playing around a with ligament. you. A ligament. A uh, ligament. Really? I thought it's ligament. I'm uh, sure. What are those? Burnals. So I'm near the end of my workout now. I'm fucking sick and tired. This guy's actually making me do the most today. This is like not even my regular workout. All right. One last one for me. I'm so cold. Watch this little fun little tricep workout. Um, Kiss the shit. Anyways, we're gonna eat some food. Dante's coming back over. Oh, bro, I really hurt my shoulder. I should not have done that. So I have some leftover chicken soup. I don't know if he's gonna want soup, but I am gonna feed him because I am the one who got him sick, so he only deserves that. What a wifey. It was his own personal decision to see me when I was sick though, so. Soup check! Drink of choice. A little vitamin C. I happen to catch it like right in the back of my throat, like right here. <laughs> Big thing. <laughs> what the hell? Put a little bit crash real. Quality. Time. Bandit, level two. 
the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we are now at the time of day where I'm going to get some work done. I have my big computer here, laptop here. Oh, by the way, um, Dante left, but he is coming back because he had to go do something. And I thought, you know, why not take the opportunity to get done what I need to get done. The thing is that I didn't plan on actually spending the day with him or hanging out with him. If he's off doing something, um, he needs to buy something. I don't fucking know. And I'm gonna take advantage of this time that I have to answer emails. I need to do things for my podcast. And I'm gonna play music, cause why the hell not? get McFlurry. Guys, so picture this. Remember how we said we... That looks good. I would fucking muck that. Really? Remember when we said we wa we were gonna get McFlurries? Yeah, same. I remember that too. It didn't Probably happen. Probably gonna go back in there and grab them after this. Really? Probably. Here's a pickle for you though. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Last minute we saw that these sandwiches are limited edition. So this is the new bacon chicken whatever deluxe. And that is the new chicken. Big Mac. Big Mac. It's literally just junior chickens and Big Mac sauce. I knew it. Fuck off. Here you go. Woohoo! Cheers! Chicken. By the way, my shoulder, I swear it's dislocated on my life. It's dislocated. A little bit dry. Mine's honestly really dry. You probably got the best bite that there was. <gasps> no, you're, you're not fuck? allowed to take a whole piece of bacon. There's like three in here. Let me try yours. Uh -huh. Please. Bro, it looks like crushed it up. Let me try. The big mac sauce carries it, that's all. It just has big mac sauce flavor. Yeah. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My items from House of CB. I got a couple dresses, obviously. I also got a pair of pants and a top. The other dresses, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to see them on TikTok or Instagram. Can't give you everything. That's cute. I like that a lot. It's really cute. Is it? Oh, this one's so cute. I feel like a fairy. By the way, all these are, are an extra small. That's cute though. Okay, let's try on the pants. I am sucking in. They're cool as hell though. If you asked. They're a lot more on the lower waisted end than I thought they would be. And then look at that. I didn't tie any of this up yet, so I don't really know how I would style it myself. Look at the oh, date tee. So cute. And these. That was a little haul. Lovely pieces. What Liked it a lot. Yeah. Check me out, y'all. Put an ice pack on my shoulder. Today's been a really weird vlog. Like, nothing that I thought was gonna happen happened. It kind of did, but like, I didn't just sit around all day and do nothing, which is probably my like biggest fear when it comes to my life. Wasting time. Especially, okay, let's talk kind of real for a moment. I don't know if you guys see like all these like 5 a.m. morning routines. People give off the impression that they're on their shit 24 7 and it's like it makes you feel kind of disappointed in yourself maybe or like kind of like not good enough like you're not doing as much as you possibly could because you see other people that are going crazy right everybody's on their own wave like you don't need to be waking up at 5 a.m babe i promise you you really don't if it works with your lifestyle and that's how you feel the best then of course go for it follow what makes you happy honestly if i spend a couple days in the week and i sleep in until fucking 11 or 12 so be I'm sick and tired of being so hard on myself because I so am. <sighs> that felt good. That was a good little speech. I'm pooped. I'm in pain and I'm over it. I need to clean my room, but like, you guys have seen enough of me today. Check out Casetify. Links are down below. I also have my Instagram, TikTok. That's it. Wish me a speedy recovery and healing because I have my birthday on Friday and if I have to wear a sling on my birthday, the whole thing's canceled. By the time this is posted, my birthday has already happened, by the way, so you'll see, won't you? All right, I love you.